Did you hear that too?
something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Brother, we may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? Don't tell me! Us. What does Odin want? Oh no, don't care. Come here, half breed. You're done holding daddy's hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Well, that's 
stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Oh no, don't get him. Come here, half breed. You done know daddy's hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Out. Focus. I'll take this small one. You don't want to do it. Get up, brother! Smart it to me! Yeah! It's a little run 
Remember the last time we faced a natural challenge? An old man in his steel-born Blood. The boy's sick. He needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Do. With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel.
You killed Maggie. That he did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I... And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern... Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm, smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? <coughs> Don't be a stranger. I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. If so, then keep up. Yes. Hey, I just realized Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. Yeah. That may be significant. Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There is an opening. I can get it. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Ah. 
There's a rope up here. <coughs> Under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? That you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Mimir, last we were in a boat, you had just started the story. 
What did you want to tell me about the long war? Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <clears throat> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius and the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? You know what? I'll tell this one later. Ooh, Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. Setting foot in Tears Vault. 